Well, rather late by the standards of Linux, I've been thinking about why people, um, you know, that users of Linux tend to fall into different categories. And mostly, as of late, I've been thinking in terms of uh, those who might use a more free operating system, freedom as in free speech, rather than free beer, or a less free operating system. Those who might do things because uh, they fit their needs as sort of a computer savvy, literate, um, tech person, maybe someone who does um, computer programming and uh, is like a developer, and someone who is more of a just a user of a computer that was looking, it may look or had been looking for something different than uh, a Windows or, or or perhaps a Macintosh, although, although a Macintosh certainly is the high-end expensive. Um, I would think more people, well, I'm certain the numbers would show that more people are Windows users. And when I started to frame this debate in my mind, being that I have used myself Ubuntu for a long time, and I've used others, but mainly Ubuntu, uh, I, I would keep um, going back to, with an XFCE, Ubuntu that would have an XS, XFCE uh, desktop, so I'm partial to that as well. Rather than <clears throat> something like a Debian, although I have used Debian before, also, and I thought about, well, why, why is this? How does this you know, pan out? What are people really saying? And, and we all know the arguments, those who pay attention to these things. Some people out there, if anyone comes across this video, might not be aware of these arguments. And, and it basically comes down to the, to, the, to the idea that Ubuntu is more for newer people. Uh, it is more packaged to be easier to use. Uh, that is more in people inclined to want to use a, a graphical environment that have come from a background of Windows or, or what have you. People that don't want to spend a lot of time in the command line. And also people who aren't so concerned about their freedom as in free speech rather than free beer or, or their privacy in these sort of things. And I'm just going to give a little bit of what I've, you know, what I've come to think. And I've thought about this, as I said, quite a lot over the past few days. In fact, I've been thinking about switching to Debian. And, and that still could happen. But what stops me is that Ubuntu works just well enough that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what stops me. Because the truth be told, another aspect of this is that Debian is very rock solid and stable. Everything works, albeit the software is older, but everything seems to work. And you don't really have a lot of bugs or crashes. Maybe you do sometimes, but Ubuntu, my experience at least, even with the XFC, XF. CE, I'm trying to say, environment, there have been multiple occasions when a program simply won't work. I won't name names, but certain programs will crash or not work. Sometimes things will work better, sometimes th things will work worse. Um, lately, I, I think a lot of these things have been solved with the uh, upgrade to uh, if you have 14.04 Ubuntu, whatever version you're using, if you upgrade to 15, I believe it's 15.04, you, 
you might find that a lot of these things get better or even disappear to a large extent. Nonetheless, Debian is a more stable system where everything works better. On the other end, though, if you use Debian, you're going to find that you have to do a lot of work. <laughs> and I think that is why, that is what prevents me because, you know, I have a lot of, I don't have a lot of time really. I mean, I do have time. Obviously, I'm making this video, but I don't want to spend all of my time and it's not that I wouldn't, I'm certainly am capable of, of um, configuring a, a Debian system. I've done it before and I'm certainly capable of, of changing things as I go, learning what I need to learn. But you see, I don't want to spend time doing that. I, I really don't. I don't want to spend time uh, looking for things like that, having to even add something to the, to the sources list. You know that that in itself is more than I wanted than I want to spend time doing. You know, um, maybe like for f there are things in Ubuntu where I've had to do things like that. You know, once or twice. But in Debian, it's more it's something that's more difficult. And and even just to upgrade a Debian uh, system, it's it's easier almost. I think, in my opinion, someone could tell me I'm wrong to do a fresh install. Rather than to rather than just upgrade, I upgraded my Ubuntu system. Everything was pretty much flawless, you know. And like I said, it worked better after it was upgraded. So there is that. Going back to the privacy, uh, you know, online debate and the evil canonical. Some people say evil canonical. <laughs> corporation and this sort of thing that's all there's you know there's something to that and I agree but I think this is you know we're, we're way beyond that there's there's such problems in that area that uh, you, you're not gonna hide you're not gonna hide behind a Debian machine Google or whomever is gonna know what you're doing use Ice Weasel they're still gonna know do, do you use YouTube which can be problematic if you're not using uh, a flash plugin on um, on on Ice Weasel, which is basically Firefox. The, a flash plugin that is basically Adobe. That's a version that's late enough that um, you know new enough, I should say that that is going to work. You know, not only for just YouTube, but for watching videos on the web uh, in general. Uh, I don't have to worry about that with uh, with Ubuntu. Um, in fact, it was quite late that I learned I didn't even have to install the extra codecs, you know, which a lot of people do, um, to play MP3s or this sort of thing, because there's a checkbox on many of these. And yes, it is a corporate thing, and I almost feel more comfortable with that. I don't want to feel like it's a sketchy kind of thing. It's like an if you know, it's an iffy kind of thing to install codecs that are restricted or whatever you want to call them. I would rather check the checkbox that goes along with the corporate, yes, we're all free and clear, you know, and um, Ubuntu gives you that option. If you use Linux and Mint, apparently this is already... I, I don't use Linux Mint, but I've been told this is already done. I've used it in, you know, situations like a virtual machine and things like that and played around with it, but I've never really used it. And uh, I'm not a, a huge fan of Linux Mint, but I'm already, I'm told that this is, this is something that's already uh, done. You know, Debian, uh, you know, it, it's a little bit harder. Uh, in my experience, to, to do these things, although wasn't very hard, I don't think, when I used Debian. Um, and, and the VLC pretty much plays just about anything anyway, it seems like. Um, but, I mean, you know, are you really going to use Nash? You can try. If you use Chromium, which is the open source Chrome, pretty much 
if you if you have a Google account, <laughs> which means you're signing into YouTube, if you have an account with YouTube, many people who watch YouTube do do. It, you're already there's look. It's a mood argument, is what I'm saying. So that was a very long-winded <laughs> way of saying that the privacy concerns are bigger than just, oh, I'm going to use Debian and not have to worry about privacy. No, that's not going to matter. I suppose you're saying you're mitigating it. I accept that by, by using Debian, and you feel better that you've done something you, that is mitigating it using Debian over Ubuntu. So I guess, again, it comes down to convenience versus, as Stallman, Richard Stallman might say, convenience versus, um, you know, your, your, your freedom, your privacy, and um, etc. Um, so to wrap this up, I've gone on quite a long time rambling, pontificating, I hope not too, too much rambling in this video. I hope it won't be too long in the end. Just to say that um, for the time being, I guess, there's a possibility I could switch to Debian still. I like it. I really do. But um, it's a lot of work. For the time being, probably I would, st I would stick with Ubuntu. And the reason is, is because, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to have to do all that work. I don't need to do all that work. You know? Until Ubuntu becomes so buggy, and it is like that, that that uh, you know you just you just get to the point where you're like, okay, that's enough. And with the knowledge that Debian is the stable, rock study system, well, until it gets to that point, you, you know, I, I guess I'll just continue on with. Um, XFCE Ubuntu 15.04 which really uh, has fixed a lot of the bugginess and really works well enough just some thoughts on this I know it's been talked about by many others and I hope it wasn't too long and too mm, rambling probably was though sorry if anyone sees this <laughs>